I'm David Toman, author of NootropicsExpert.com, and in this video I'm going to share with you what I know about anacetyl altyrosine, or NALT, as a nootropic. What it is, why we use it, the science behind it, dosage, and side effects. Anacetyl L-tyrosine, or NALT, is a form of the amino acid L-tyrosine. The addition of an acetyl group to L-tyrosine makes it more bioavailable than supplementing with L-tyrosine. Your brain converts L-tyrosine to L-dopa, which then produces the neurotransmitter dopamine. The unused dopamine is then further converted into the neurotransmitters norepinephrine and epinephrine. This triad of neurotransmitters is collectively referred to as catecholamines. Tyrosine is derived from the Greek word tyros, meaning cheese. It was first discovered by German chemist Justus von Liebig in 1846 in the protein casein from cheese. Tyrosine is considered a non-essential amino acid because it can be synthesized in your body from phenylalanine, which is found in many high-protein foods such as uh, poultry, fish, dairy, soy, lima beans, avocado, and bananas. NALT enhances working memory and executive function in the prefrontal cortex. It helps with creative flow states, is fuel for inspiration, cognitive flexibility, and the kind of convergent thinking you do in multiple choice exams. Anacetyl L-tyrosine assists in the production of the thyroid hormones T3 and T4, which are crucial in maintaining both overall physical and cognitive health. Anacetyl L-tyrosine is the amino acid L-tyrosine with an acetyl group added. When you take NALT as a supplement, it breaks down in your kidneys back into L-tyrosine. So in theory, the two supplements offer the same benefits. Now there is some debate in the nootropics community on which one is more effective, NALT or plain old tyrosine. NALT is a more soluble form of L-tyrosine, so it should be more bioavailable to your body. However, some studies report that in some cases a sizable percentage of supplemental NALT is excreted in urine before it's converted into L-tyrosine. Now as for me, I haven't had any issues using NALT as a source of L-tyrosine. It gives me a dopamine and adrenal boost you would expect from supplementing with a dopamine precursor. Now when dealing with ADHD or ADD, it's particularly effective when it's stacked with Alcar or acetyl L-carnitine. Alcar easily crosses the blood-brain barrier for boosting acetylcholine levels and seems to effectively influence serotonin levels. And NALT provides my brain with the dopamine it needs to mitigate symptoms of adult ADD. But honestly I do stack it with 20 milligrams of Ritalin twice a day. Clearly my brain doesn't have the capacity to produce enough dopamine on its own and it needs the boost that comes from supplementing with NALT. So like all nootropics, your mileage may vary. Always take into account how each nootropic works synergistically with others in your stack and how they work with any meds that you need to take, like Ritalin or Adderall or Vivance. This is as much an uh, art as it is a science, and experimentation is key for optimal con cognition and a limitless mindset. Well, first, NALT improves memory and cognition under acute stress. Acute stress is defined as short-term stressors that can affect cognition. Examples are extreme heat or cold, things like cold showers, extreme sports, car accidents, relationship problems, uh, intense movies, uh, business deals gone awry, exams, and war zones. In one study done at the University of Bedfordshire in the UK, the effect of L-tyrosine on cognitive performance was measured with using an exercise task. Researchers recruited eight soccer players and had them complete a 90-minute soccer, sim soccer simulation performance test in an environmental chamber set at 77 degrees Fahrenheit. The soccer players were given either L-tyrosine before exercise or a placebo. Cognitive performance was measured before the exercise task, then again at halftime, following halftime, and following the entire simulation. 
the cognitive performance task assessed dual task and vigilance. The outcome revealed that cognitive vigilance and reaction time among soccer players significantly improved following administration of L-tyrosine. Results showed that in warm weather conditions, L-tyrosine could enhance cognitive function and prevent cognitive impairment during exposure to exercise heat stress. And the second way NALT helps the brain is NALT boosts neurotransmitters. NALT turns into L-tyrosine once taken as a supplement. It then converts into the neurotransmitter dopamine. Dopamine is used to control movement in your body, is fundamental to memory, attention, and problem solving. The unused dopamine can then convert into the neurotransmitters norepinephrine and epinephrine. Norepinephrine is important for attentiveness, emotions, sleeping, dreaming, and learning. Epinephrine drives your fight or flight response, and it's what prompts your reaction to dangerous circumstances, emergency situations, or in stressful situations or environments. In one study done in the Netherlands, researchers determined if L-tyrosine would boost cognitive resources associated with cognitive control. They performed tests designed to measure working memory using the NBAC test. Study participants were assigned to engage in a one-back condition of easy difficulty and then a two-back condition of tougher difficulty. Those that use L-tyrosine demonstrated superior performance in the, the one-back in the two-back test, but not in the one-back test. The study authors suggested that L-tyrosine provides greater cognitive enhancement when cognitive demand increases. The bottom line, supplementing with L-tyrosine may help to increase your score, your IQ score, due to maximizing catecholamine reserves. NALT can boost levels of the neurotransmitters dopamine, norepinephrine, and epinephrine, and can help a sluggish thyroid produce more T4 and T3. NALT can help boost cognition, especially in stressful situations. It helps improve decision making, flow state and creativity, cognitive flexibility, and working memory. NALT converts into uh, L-tyrosine, which then converts into L-dopa to produce dopamine. Dopamine is also used to make melanin in your body. This conversion process helps in the removal of neurotoxic quinones. And it chelates heavy metals like mercury and lead, which can accumulate and damage neurons. The dopamine that is not used by your brain is available to produce norepinephrine, which is available for attentiveness, emotions, sleeping, dreaming, and learning. NALT can be an effective nootropic when stacked with ADHD meds like Ritalin or Adderall or Revance and the others. It helps supply extracellular dopamine needed to improve the effectiveness of stimulants used to boost the uptake of dopamine in your brain. Now keep in mind that NALT is a precursor to catecholamines. So if you're not low on dopamine, norepinephrine or epinephrine, you may not feel anything. Now, many neurohackers report a lift in mood, better focus, concentration, increased energy, and an overall sense of well-being. NALT can help readjust your motivation levels. It can help lower anxiety levels, especially social anxiety. Supplementing with anacetyl L-tyrosine can help uh, bring down your blood pressure if it's elevated from stressful situations or an environment. Take it before the stressful event if you can. NALT helps buffer the effects of stimulants like caffeine or amphetamines. It helps potentiate and prolong the effects of Ritalin or Adderall and reduces the crash. If you're into athletics or do manual work, you'll find that supplementing with NALT before a workout or construction job will leave you feeling great afterwards. It helps mitigate many of the effects of acute stress caused by short-term stressors. And NALT helps your body produce melanin, so you might find that it's easier to get a tan while at the beach. Now, we have a lot of research on L-tyrosine and NALT, anacetyl L-tyrosine. Um, I've got clinical studies that you can take a look at over on Nootropics Expert on anacetyl L-tyrosine to treat ADHD. The researchers in that particular study said that this amino acid protocol 
may be equal in efficacy to, put, to potent pharmaceutical ADHD medications. I've got another clinical study on how L-tyrosine reduces blood pressure under stress. And the researchers in that study concluded that L-tyrosine reduced diastolic blood pressure within 15 minutes of taking this supplement. And I've got another study over on Nootropics Expert for anacetyl L-tyrosine promotes cognitive flexibility. So if you'd like to take a look at these studies in more detail and links to the actual studies that I've linked to, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for NALT or anacetyl L-tyrosine. And scroll down to the, the research section and you'll see the studies that I'm talking about in this video. Anacetyl L-tyrosine's suggested dosage for cognitive benefit is 350 to 500 milligrams twice a day. NALT is water-soluble, so you don't need to take it with a meal like a, or a healthy fat like some nootropics. You may find that your body responds to smaller doses, or even more if you're stacking with stimulants like ADHD meds. So listen to your body and see how you react. NALT quickly turns into non-essential amino acid L-tyrosine once you take it and is considered non-toxic and very safe. Now most neurohackers don't have any side effects when using NALT, but at higher doses there are reports of stomach issues and migraines. Mig migraine problems are usually happen to those who already suffer from migraines and this may be an indication that your neurotransmitter levels are already optimal and you don't need to supplement with NALT. NALT can also increase your thyroid hormones, so if you're hyperthyroid, you shouldn't use NALT. And if you're taking MAOIs like selegaline, Azelac, Marplan, or Nardal, you should not use NALT. MAOIs work in your brain that, and affect neurotransmitters, particularly the catecholamines. So using NALT in combination with MAOIs could throw off the delicate balance of neurotransmitters needed for optimal brain health and cognition. So the bottom line is if you use MAOIs, you shouldn't be using NALT. Anacetyl L-tyrosine is available in powder, capsule, and tablet form. Capsules and tablets are usually 350 to 500 milligrams. Some pre-made nootropic stacks and workout stacks also include NALT as part of their formula. Ensure that you read the labels carefully and stick with manufacturers that follow good manufacturing practices and are GMP certified. So my nootropics expert recommendation for anacetyl L-tyrosine is 350 to 500 milligrams a day. And Remember that NALT is especially helpful for those dealing with ADD or ADHD. It's a great complement to stack with stimulant meds like Ritalin or Adderall or Vivance because NALT can provide the dopamine your brain needs and it will help smooth out and prolong the effects of these stimulant meds and it may help prevent the associated crash when they wear off. So a good stack for ADHD uh, is using your usual ADHD med, whatever the dose is, along with 500 milligrams of NALT and 500 milligrams of Alcar. Now you can safely dose up to 1500 milligrams per day of NALT, particularly if you're using it with ADHD meds. But make sure you split up that dose so you're dosing it throughout the day. Uh, take a smaller dose each time you take your ADHD med. So that's my report on NALT. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for anacetyl L-tyrosine or NALT, or click on the link below this video. There you'll find a full transcript of this video, and you'll find dozens of articles on all the well-known nootropics on Nootropics Expert. Now, if you have any questions, or you want to share your experience using NALT, please use the comment section at the bottom of the post over on nootropicsexpert.com because I respond to comments and questions at Nootropics Expert usually the same day. Now if you want to see more videos on all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.